T, it's me. You doing anything? Want to hang out? Oh, absolutely, my young chum. Love to. Oh, uh, great. I'll be there soon. It's nice All to right. see you. Let's get cracking. My favorite gangbanger. It's good to hang out with you, kid. Man, you too. Only less of the kid, please. So you're not looking for a father figure? Man, if I was looking for a father figure, I'd like to think I'd find a couple better candidates than you and Michael. You a pair of lunatics. I, I mean, I'm bad. But you two? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, family is important, though. People is important, sure. But actually, family? Man, all I got is my crazy-ass aunt. Well, loyalty is important. Let me put it that way. Loyalty is important. I mean, that's the only code you need. Loyalty is the code. Kill strangers, protect friends, eat enemies. And star in nature documentaries? Huh? What do you mean? Nothing, man. You go, Tiger. You go. Uh, tigers aren't loyal. They're mostly solitary, like big sharks. I'm more into orcas. Or, or lions, or African wild dogs. Yeah, I can see that about you. How you been, kid? Fine. But enough with the kid. It's kind of annoying. Sorry, kid. I, got, I mean, sorry. I just hear a good kid. You got potential. I see it. Mikey obviously saw it the moment he met you, but let's be honest. You need a real guide through life, because that bit's yours. Who you choose to learn from. Sure, dog. Thanks for the advice. Man, I am drunk. Lightweight. Say, do you like me, kid? You are my favorite psycho. You are Michael, or Lamar, or me, shit. I only know psycho shit. That's no good. Because I love you, man. I love you. That's nice. I love you. I fucking love you. You're fuck, man. You're... You wanna hold me? Do you? No, hold me. I'm... I'm good. Hold me! No! But I love you like a brother. Oh, I'm sorry. My head is spinning. Like, forget, forget everything I said. This is all good, homie. Seriously. What's your deal anyway, bro? Man, I ain't got a deal. I hooked up with Michael because I needed some marketable skills. What? Well, you, you couldn't figure this stuff on your own? Uh, no, nah, man. I couldn't. I tried, but I couldn't. Trying and failing ain't the same as not getting anywhere. Oh, trust me, man. We weren't getting anywhere. And if we fail just one more time, dog, we'd be dead. Michael ain't gonna make you a man. Me? This thing I got, the vibe, it ain't gonna rub off on you either. Man, I don't think I want your vibe to rub off on me. You know what I mean. Don't be a pussy. Stand up for yourself. Take what you need, give loyalty where it's due, and don't get fucked like a pussy. Yeah, alright, dawg. So, seriously, bro, gang bang up. I banged, dawg. Didn't particularly like it, but I got into it for a while. Is that a little, you know, retro? Man, it ain't some fashion thing, it's my life. I thought I was the old one. You're the throwback. Whatever, man. It does not fix anything, does it? Man, what are you talking about? The alcohol! The booze, man. It fixes everything. Good times. Oh, I'm so, I'm so lonely, bro. Everyone I love leaves me. Probably because you, you kill all of them. I don't. Well, maybe a couple, a few of them, but the ones I really loved ran out. They say if you really love something, let it go. In your case, if you really love someone, let them run off before you get around and killing them. Are you making jokes? I said I'm lonely! You gonna kill me too, huh? Get in control, dog. It's good to hang out, kid. Listen, tell me about yourself. Give me the lowdown. Give me the scoop -ah. Give me the truth. For real? I guess it was kind of tough, dog. You know, I, I grew up in Los Santos. Here? Yeah. Tough? Listen, 
I grew up in five states, two countries, 14 different homes, eight fathers, three care homes, two correctional facilities, one beautiful, damaged flower of a mother. I've served time, my country, your country, and myself. I've committed every mortal sin. I've loved, hated, and searched for meaning. And do you find me saying things were tough, do you? Listen, kid, if you take one thing away from me, it is that self-mythologizing and self-pity are for the weak. You got me? Yeah, I, I, I got you. Sure. Good. I gotta, I gotta ask you, Frank. You're a decent guy. Real, I think. I try? Sure, but how then did you spend your entire life in Los Santos? It's the worst place I've ever been. I mean, it's entirely plastic and everyone sucks in pretty much every way. No offense. I guess we ain't all cut out to be such judges of character as you, Trevor. No, I get that a lot. Man, to drink less and smoke more. Yeah, me too. Oh, weed, real smoking. Crystal weed is an asshole's drug. Real men smoke meth. It separates the men from the boys. Weed, weed is for hobbyists. Give me an attic any day. Weed, weed. I'd rather suck cock than Stop smoke being weed. Bitch. And I've done both. Damn, thanks for sharing. Nah, no problem. I love you. I, I love you too, man. Now be quiet. Really? It ain't that surprising. You coming to me. Come to you? What? How is this me coming to you? You need an authority figure, and it's no surprise you've looked to me. I'm looking to escalate my authority problem. Robbing banks and such? I don't buy it. Your father let you down. Your mother let you down. The gangs let you down. The state let you down. You need me. You need some strict rules and someone to enforce them. Dude, man. I was in the service. That structure is what you need. I can be outside your place at 5 a.m. every morning. I'll run you through your drills. But if you want me to do this, I need complete control. Exercise, diet, the books you read, the shows you watch, complete surrender to the regime. I'll need blood samples, piss samples, hair samples, stool samples, regular psych evals. I'll get you off the wrong drugs and on the right drugs, the smart drugs. It's a total surrender, but only in surrender. It's their victory. Are you on board, Private? Yeah, yeah, no. No, I'm not. Thanks, though. I tried. Really, bro? So, how you like ALS? How, how I like it? Not at all. How would I like it? Raised to the ground. Come on, bro. It's my hometown. How do you deal with them? All the plastic people. Just laugh, I guess. That's all you can do. The booze, dog. It makes you any crazier. How crazy can you get? Mm, how crazy you want me, bro? Like crazy sexy. <laughs> no one's gonna know or judge. Dude! I'm gonna let that slide, cause you drunk as shit. Drunk? Only just. Bro, I am always in control. I well, good for you. Why don't you control yourself and having some fucking fun? <laughs> I hate myself. I'm gonna hate you too if you ruin my buzz. I'm fading and I wanna have some fun. Always gotta play the clown for people. But you know what? I hate clowns. They scare me. I scare myself. Still ain't fun. How have you been, kid? Good, Dad. Ha <laughs> very funny. You'd be lucky to have a dad like me. Anyone would. Anyone. I'll be a great father. Fantastic. Uh, okay, sure, yeah. My father, my actual father. The one I think was my father. He was, he was not a nice man. It's incredible I turned out as well as I did. Incredible? My mother was very complicated. It's very complicated. She, well, I had a very complicated upbringing. Extremely complicated. In many ways, I was deprived of some pretty basic things, but I don't complain. I should have been an artist. I nearly was. If I'd stayed at school, I would have been. For real? 
Yeah, for real. Like a singer or someone who does pictures. For real, yeah, I've got something to say, something very important. What? I don't quite know. That's the problem with my life. I tell you what, son. I'm bored out of my mind right now. Yeah, thanks very much, home. Oh, come on, don't get defensive. I love you, you're a good kid, but you're not interesting. You're not like me. That's very true. I mean, I'm the guy people flock towards. I'm the guy people want of a friend, but they're always too intimidated. Quite frankly, I can't be bothered. I'm the most interesting guy I know. You know, we ain't come that far from when the Romans were in control of this country. Gladiators and such. The Romans, bro? I don't think so. You don't think the wars and the political dynasties and stupid games on TV, you don't think those methods of control are any different from the ones that the Roman emperors were using to control the citizens? That's all good. It's just you said Romans controlled this country. But that was in Italy. What? You know, I... Sure, yeah! That tiny geographical detail, it's so irrelevant to the substance of what I was saying. Most people know where Rome is, dude. You know, you're just like the rest of them. Intimidated by my genius. Yeah, we all the same. Only no one's intimidated by your genius. They're intimidated by your propensity to do crazy shit. Ah, there you go. Throwing an opportunity to have an intelligent conversation out the window. Where's Ron? I guess Ron lets you get away with that shit, huh? It's all good, though, dog. All good. You want to know something about me? I hate self-absorbed people. Can't stand them. We're all thrown onto this planet together, so grow up and get along with the rest of us. Take an interest. How was your day, Trevor? Shit. What's your favorite food? Sweet meat. Does anyone ask me these questions? No. It's just me, 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 me. You know what I hate? Dudes with a lack of self-awareness. I don't care what you hate. We're talking about me. Hey, how you been, T? I've been okay. I mean, you know, no. I've been shit, frankly. I made a mess of my life. I really have. Why you say that? Uh, isn't that obvious? Is that a trick question? I don't know. Is it? Uh, you tell me. No, you tell me. Maybe you're, uh, maybe, uh, I, I, I give up. I, I never had kids. That selfish prick Michael has them, but wise, compassionate old Trevor here never got around to it. To be a truly fantastic father, the world is missed out, I mean. You know, I, I was thinking of that one. I should have said it. So listen, kid, can I tell you about something creepy? And to be upfront. It's all your fault. What'd I do now? It's the friend of yours, Lamar. I'm convinced he's, well, is he gay? Because he has a serious man crush on me. <laughs> it's flattering, but he's, he's just not my type. I imagine you get that a lot. As much as I enjoy these excursions, you know, I find them draining. Hanging with me is draining. Well, shit, ain't no one forcing you. You think it's easy? Everyone thinks it's easy, but it's not. Chilling with your friends is meant to be easy. If I'm hard work, dog. It's not chilling, though, is it? I'm always on. Always giving. Give, 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 give. That's all I do. Um, if being you is too much, then be somebody else. Get comfortable, man. Like a father, not just to you, but to everyone. Provider of love, discipline. If you're a father, you're an abusive, creepy-ass father, okay? If I didn't think I could at least hold my own with you in a scrap, I wouldn't get within 30 feet of you. This is an emotional roller coaster. What you doing? Hanging with you, dog. Uh... How's your spelling and grammar and all that crap? I could do it if I wanted to, but I don't want to follow stupid rules. I improvise, inventing punctuation as I go. Okay, uh... I could spell, I, I guess. The spell check helps. Hey, good! And you're writing a book about me! You know me best, son. I love you and I'll kill you if there's anything bad in there. Ah, uh, okay. Man, I'm kind of busy now, but I'll let you know when I get started. You got time to hang, you got time to write my biography. 
So, uh, what's been up with you? I've been great, kid. I've been replaying my entire life over and over and realizing just how many lies I was told. Too trusting. Well, maybe. I mean, that's one way of seeing things. Well, why don't you tell me another cupcake? Maybe. Michael was in a tough... in a tough spot. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was. But not nearly so tough as the one he'll be in when I take my well-deserved vengeance on him. What about you guys have a talk first? Michael doesn't talk. Michael sucks balls. And soon, he'll be sucking dead balls. Is that a phrase? <laughs> it is now. Hey, Listen, I know this whole thing with Michael puts you in a difficult situation. I guess it's something I don't really understand. What's to understand? The guy's a rat. Rats are to be avoided. Man, maybe I should stay out of it. Nonsense! You gotta take sides. Take my side. So, uh, I've been meaning to ask you. How are you, dog? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, yeah. Yeah, woo! <laughs> Real good. I I've been thinking. Hey, that's good to hear, man. I've been, uh, kinda worried. Ow! Oh, don't worry about me, man. Before, maybe. When I was walking around like an idiot being made a fool of. But now, now that everything has come out in the light, you don't need to worry about me. Good, homie. Worry about Michael. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, man, what you um, gonna do? I do not know yet. I could kill him, could kill him slow, or I could just leave him, let him live in fear in the hell he's created for himself. You know, I think the second one, the living hell, that's the way to go. I still ain't decided. Whose side you on, bro? Mine? You on mine? I ain't on anyone's side. I ain't picking teams. That's a pussy answer. Be a man. Take my side. The manly thing to say is, it was a long time ago, and I shouldn't be asked to choose. Pussy. T, it's me. I'm bored, man. Wanna hang out or something? You? Whoa! Thought you'd finally turned into Mini Michael and given up on friendship. Come on by. Okay, good. I'll be there soon. So I gotta ask you something, T. Address to the right. What? Nothing. No, I, I gotta ask you. Why didn't you... Why... Why didn't you, you know, kill Mike? I'd rather talk about my penis. No doubt. I don't know. I thought a lot about it. I wanted to. <laughs> oh, I really did. But she got kids. I don't quite know. I suppose it was a long time ago, and I suppose we had some fun here, and I suppose I made my mind up that he's a dick. But the people against us were worse, so I killed the bigger dicks. And Michael lucked out. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, he's still a dick, but I kind of love him for it. I love how much he hates himself. It makes me feel all is right with the world. You know what, kid? I'm proud of you. Thanks, Uncle T. Hey, no need for sarcasm. I'm proud. You've really grown up. You learned a lot. I did a good job teaching you. And you finally understood. Again, thanks, Uncle T. Dude, I'm crazy drunk. That is good. It's good, bro. I'll have you on the pipe soon enough. I seen people smoking, dog. My mom smoked. That shit ain't for me. Not crack! Corpse! <laughs> what do you take me for? Come on, huh? to know you put stuff aside with Mike. You know, I was kind of worried a little. Like I said, I thought of his children, and in a way, you're one of his children, the one he shares with me. Uh, thanks, man, I guess. Really? If I'm completely honest with you, Brad was a bit of a dick. The dude who got killed? Yeah, I mean, 
Would I have done it one day? Maybe. Probably. What? Probably likely. Wouldn't have done it in such an underhanded fashion, and the authorities wouldn't have been involved, but yeah, bit of a dick. So all this was over a guy neither you really like. Well, the, the, the principle was the thing, and if I'm anything, I'm a man of principles. Hey, I'm happy you got over your principles. And thank the universe Brad was a dick. How you been, kid? Fine. But enough with the kid, it's kinda annoying. Sorry, kid. I got... I mean, sorry. It just... I just hear a good kid! I just hear a good kid! You got potential. I see it. Mikey obviously saw it the moment he met you, but... Let's be honest. You need a real guide through life. Because that bit's yours. Who you choose to learn from. Sure, dog. Thanks for the advice. This is you, dog. It's being cool. It's good to have a real friend, Frank. I'm serious.